Hey guys, this is another video from uh, Matt from Insane Gaming here on YouTube. Um, today I am playing a free for all in Afghan, and uh, I just switched over to the Xbox because uh, Insane Gaming's competitive gaming team will uh, mostly be on Xbox, so that's what I'm doing. Right here, I adjust the brightness because if you know Scene Enters, uh, this is a helpful tip that he pointed out. If you turn up your brightness, you can see through a lot of corners, like the cave here in Afghan, for example. So I'm using the tar with a silencer with blue tiger on. Uh, my secondary is a USP, which I don't really use in this video. And, uh, yeah. So I start off the game. I quickly go to this part because I always thought somebody would go to the cave. Um, instead, I find some person spraying right outside the cave, which is really stupid. Uh, I don't get him yet, and then there's a sniper trying to snipe me, so I turn around, and then I want to go back for the kill. Um, so the reason why I'm using the tar, which you guys probably think is like, well, it's such an overused gun because it's just so good, and I already said this in my last video, or one of my videos, um, I definitely love the tar, and I'm sure that everyone who uses it will, uh, but why I'm using it is because... Uh, I just switched over to the Xbox, and if, you, if you're if you an Xbox player and you've switched back and forth from Call of Duty to Halo, or if you're a PS3 player and you've switched back and forth from Xbox to PS3, you'll know that uh, the controllers are much different, and I'm not trying to just make up an, ex an excuse for me being bad. Um, the controllers are a lot different, and it's really hard to get used to them. So when, when I was doing really bad using different guns uh, that I thought you guys might want to see, actually, uh, I just put on this gun and I started raping up. Uh, this is actually the first round that I actually started using it, and uh, I won. So I'm using Sleight of Hand Pro, Stopping Power Pro, and Ninja Pro. Um, the reason for this is because Ninja Pro is like the best third perk on Free For All, basically, unless you're commando noobing. But uh, I love Ninja Pro because people can't hear you, the sound whores can't hear you, which is good. And um, then also, I am using Stopping Power Pro, obviously, so for the damage increase. I'm using uh, Sleight of Hand Pro, actually accidentally. Uh, I was quickly switching right before this game started my intervention class to my uh, TAR class, and I didn't get to do the first perk, so that kind of sucked, but I actually like Sleight of Hand Pro, so it's no big deal. Um, if you've watched other gameplays of mine, you know that I usually aim down the sights a lot, so it actually helps me out. So I thought this guy would come chase me, but actually he just noob tubed again which I guess I was kinda worried of. Um, another question for of the video, I guess, and that is, what camo do you want to see in this game? Just leave that down in the comment section below. So, earlier I said something about competitive gaming, and uh, what that means is that uh, once we get our clan filled up, uh, we will start- I don't know how I missed that guy at the Predator Missile. Well, there I go again, getting off topic, but uh, we're gonna start competitive gaming once we get our clan, like, whatever we can do, we'll, like, join, uh, I forget what it is, Gamer Wars or something? I don't know, it's some competitive gaming site. So I ran out of ammo on my tar, so I picked up this guy's ACR. Um, ACR is also a ver another very, very cheap overpowered gun. Uh, it's probably the most accurate and, like, crazy good gun ever in this game. Um... That's why you don't see a lot of, like, good commentators using it, like, as a loadout, because there's no real skill involved, and, um, if you're gonna go around trying to get, like, a flawless FFA, this is, like, the gun to do it with. It's got a high-capacity mag and a bunch of, like, ammo and the best accuracy, best, best range on an assault rifle. It's just a crazy gun. So I'm looking around for snipers in here, and I'm trying to get out of this guy's uh, chopper gunner's line of sight. So I'm just staying in this cave. I know I'm close to my uh, harriers, I believe, or or uh, pavel, I forget. So um, as I hear this guy in here. It's that noob tuber. Get my harriers, plant them out right in the middle here, and um, after that, I'm pretty much waiting for my pavelos now. And, um, I actually do do something bad, which is, uh, take out my Pavlo, uh, take out my Pavlo while my Harrier's still up, which is not very good, and I shouldn't have done that, I should have waited till my Harrier run away. And, uh, I don't know how my Harrier killed the Pavlo, I know Harriers can shoot other vehicles, but 
Harrier killing a Pavlo, I found that pretty funny. Uh, it also span out, so I guess you could have got that LMG Danger Close achievement. Uh, another thing I want you guys to... Oh, there's a stun pistol kill. Another thing I wanted you guys to talk about in the comment section below is what do you think about one-man army danger close noob tubing? Now, if you have seen... Uh, if you haven't seen, go look up Muzza Fuzza, and he uh, made a video talking about... T uh, like a message to Infinity Ward talking about how glitched it was and how stupid it was that you could just... Switch black back to a class that you already had just to get ammo back, including noob tube ammo. So people have just been like sitting in one place in the map and shooting up in the air and getting like multi kills, whatever. So I see this guy, he sh outguns me right there. Um, other other than that, this other than that guy, most of the people in this uh, lobby are kind of noob. Um, but I'm that's good for me. I had a tactical institution uh, insertion. Sorry. Um, so I was thought it might be in here, but it wasn't, so that's too bad. Uh, that guy was obviously a knifer from his uh, magnum and running faster than most players. See that guy running through, and there, if I didn't have the brightness up, I wouldn't have seen him there, so uh, there's proof that it does help. Uh, so the game's coming to an end, almost. I think I get a predator missile here, and then a harrier. Uh, just wanted to say, please rate, comment, and subscribe. We'll have more videos out. And as you know, the Halo Reach beta is coming out very soon. And uh, that'll be great fun. We'll have a lot of videos out on that. Um, so yeah, rate or thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. This has been Matt from Insane Gaming. And uh, I'll just let you watch the game-winning kill. Or the uh, last kill of the game. And there we go. Thank you for watching once again. This has been Matt from Insane Gaming, and I'll see you next time.